Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom. I'm here today with Dave Ropes, a tree specialist from Tree Specialist. And we are going to talk today winter moth. And you may have winter moth at your house. So, Dave, first, what is winter moth? The winter moth is an introduced moth species and what we're concerned with is the larva which is a small caterpillar or inchworm that feeds on the leaves of just about every deciduous tree species in our area. How does a homeowner know they have it? Well that's part of the problem Dave because the caterpillars come out very early in the spring when the buds are just opening up. They're about the size of a grain of rice and maybe only half as thick. And they climb inside the opening buds where they begin to feed. So a homeowner can't see them at that point. It isn't until the leaves open up and begin to get to their full size that you can see they've been eaten to pieces. And what about the moth, Dave? Do I actually see that? In the fall, the adult moths fly around. That's when they mate and then lay the eggs that'll hatch out in the spring. So the problem's really a springtime problem. It's the feeding of the larva on the leaves, so that's where we need to focus our control. What can a homeowner do in order to control this? Well, we spray with a couple of different uh, materials. One is BT, which is a bacterium. It's actually listed safe in organic settings. And then we use another product called Spinosad. That's another biorational. It's a derivative of a bacterium. So it's a naturally uh, produced material, and that's sprayed on the uh, trees and on the developing leaves. So Dave, if someone has really big trees, like we're standing under this maple, someone should call an arborist at that point. Yeah, you, you really need specialized equipment that can give you the pressure and the volume in order to reach the tops of uh, shade trees. Can a homeowner get a hold of some of those products that you talked about and do the smaller things around their property themselves? Yeah, Dave, depending on the laws in your state, uh, very often BT and Spinoza are available over the counter and it's perfectly fine to spray your own trees. Uh, you can even use a small step ladder to get the tops of a flowering cherry or whatever. If I do call a professional, when do I want them to be spraying? This is a tricky part. The insect develops in relation to accumulated temperature in the spring. So in a warm spring, it's gonna be early. On a cool, wet spring, it's gonna be late. And then another wrinkle is that within a landscape, different trees are leaping out at different times. So very often we have to do two applications to cover the early bloomers and the late bloomers. Well, Dave, thanks as usual. I appreciate it, excellent information. Now you're armed with some information on winter moth and we have hundreds of videos with great horticultural information for you at Growing Wisdom.